Hello everybody, uh, my name is Fletch, and today I'll be doing a uh, little review, if you want, uh, of the 360, or uh, the Insta360 1X. The reason why I'm doing this is because, uh, if you notice on my uh, YouTube and Instagram, that the videos that I take are um, somewhat unusual. Okay, the reason behind that is because um, I'm using the 360 which inherently has some unique features. One of them of course is the fact that um, you can record um, a video or a, a, a photo with a 360 view. Uh, in other words, I can do continuous recording and it's recording all the angles around 360. I can continue to uh, actually record and go back, change the point of view, record again almost unlimitedly. Now in this uh, particular vlog setup, uh, I have the GoPro Hero 7 right here. And uh, the reason why I'm using this particular mount or this particular camera as well is that uh, you'll be able to see how I'm mounting the, the 360 uh, 1X onto my handlebars. And you can see uh, how unique this uh, particular mounting system is. Uh, because the, the the interesting thing about the Insta360 One X is that um, because of its top and bottom camera, in fact you can see the top camera here, and there's another camera below, that actually records uh, the 360 view. And what happens is that uh, there's a stitching between the two of them, and miraculously, the algorithm within the uh, 360 actually cancels off the mount that you see below, anything that's below it. So you don't actually see the camera, you won't actually see the camera, and you won't actually see the mount either. So I think that's pretty unique. Uh, the only thing that you probably see because of uh, a slight glitch is a little glitch in the corner here. Now, the good thing about the, the 360 is that I can change the point of view meaning that I could go left or I could go right easily oops a little heartbreaking there now this particular GoPro mount that I have is a little special um, it comes with a case and it comes with a mic adapter that I can put below and this is how I'm recording the audio uh, because obviously I can't record the audio of uh, the 360 it will be just picking up all the wind noise and stuff which is not conducive but both of them record in 4K of course uh, the 360 1X uh, actually uh, records uh, at 4K it even has manual control on the, the video quality means you can set the ISO, white balance, shutter speed and so forth which I think is a good thing uh, most times I set it to auto and it really just blows out and I have to do a lot of uh, corrections in the, in the editing software but I set it to manual this time hopefully uh, it will be much better and so you can see nice views here, nice views there Those are one of the more interesting things about the Insta360. 
uh, pros and cons. So pros, we would have, uh, you know, basically be able to change the point of view, whether it's the front or to me. Next, it's uh, the other pro is that, of course, like I said earlier, is recording 360 degrees uh, of video, uh, and at any time when you play back, you can decide the pivot point, and you can decide um, uh, which angle that you want. Right? If there's a particular, something particular that you want to point out to, you can. You can have a front view, and you can have a person's view. Uh, as well, right? Which, unlike most setups uh, that most e loggers have, uh, would be you know maybe two GoPros, so you have the uh, front point of view FPV, or you have on the forward point of view, and then you have the front point of view over here, and that's about it. You don't have any other choices uh, or points of views. But here, literally, as I'm riding, I can literally choose. Um, Point out interesting things that go along, especially if I review the video and then decide to move the point of view to that particular item and then point it out, uh, which I think is a really uh, important advantage. Uh, besides that, uh, and of course uh, the fact that it records at 4K. In fact, it records at 5K. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody could ever see the difference, but. Uh, it will mean higher quality videos. For the cons, uh, would mean that number one, as you can see from the uh, the mounting system, uh, and it's obviously going to be a little bit difficult at high speed. So this is not something that I would take to a large highway and go at highway speeds, because what would happen is that it's physics, right? If the wind blows, it's going to blow hard at that speed, it's going to flip up the uh, setup that I have here, and then you'll probably have a different kind of, uh, different point of view above my head probably, or just about, and it's not uh, the best view. The second reason why I put it, uh, anyway, I know it's not a con, but it's one of the things that I, I decided to do why I put it on this mount, is because then I can have the point of view further away, then you can actually see me, more of me and the bike, as opposed to just me close up on a GoPro. Ooh, traffic here is horrendous. So the pro is that uh, you can't do highway speeds on this uh, because it'll flip up and then spoil the, the point of view that you have. The other con, of course, is that even though you may have a waterproof case, uh, this thing is not waterproof. And again, you know, in torrential rain with a waterproof case, I'm not too sure if they will work or not, and whether um, there's going to be an issue later on. Inherently, it's not like a GoPro which is waterproof without a casing, uh, unless in this particular setup uh, with a mic uh, attachment sticking on that is not waterproof anymore. my review on uh, the Insta360 and how I mount this particular view log, or how I did the mounting for this particular view log. Uh, 
do let me know if in the comments below if that's what you like uh, or anything that you like to suggest uh, and if you do like this video please uh, click on the subscribe button and of course ring the bell to get notifications thank you very much this is Fletch have a good one